In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own massage candle at home. And if you don't know what a massage candle is, it is exactly what it sounds like. So a massage candle is a candle that you can use to give massages. The cool thing about massage candles are they are super easy to make, they're moisturizing for the skin, and they are just so darn delightful. I am absolutely in love with massage oil candles. So the cool thing about it is we actually use soy wax. So soy wax is skin safe. It is also a candle wax. So if you ever used a soy candle, that's the type of wax that we're gonna use. So in addition to the soy wax, cause you can't use that for a massage or it's gonna feel very weird. We're gonna add some oils and butters to create a moisturizing consistency. And when it's heated up, it gives the best slip for a massage. Without further ado, let's dive in and make our massage candle. So you always wanna make sure that when you're weighing stuff that you're using a kitchen scale, right? So we can't use like cups and tablespoons and things like that to measure because it's not gonna be very accurate. So just use a kitchen scale. We're gonna start out by weighing out all of our ingredients. Soy wax is the base of our candle. Soy wax is a natural skin safe wax that melts at a low temperature. We need this low melting point in order for it to be safe to use on your skin because the whole point is we only want to heat the wax up to about skin temperature and have it kind of be melty. Shea butter is amazing for our skin. It has very nice moisturizing properties and the cool thing about that is it also melts right around skin temperature. Now I use a little bit of cocoa butter in here, which is a very brittle and hard butter, but we use it at such a small amount that it's not really gonna affect the melting point of this massage candle. And then hazelnut oil, we add that in. So this is obviously liquid at room temperature, again, because we wanna make this candle so it melts right around skin temperature, just a little bit above it. We don't want anything that's gonna be super hard to melt or that has a super high melting point. Into the pouring pot, we're gonna put the soy wax, the cocoa butter, the shea butter, and the hazelnut oil. Now we're gonna pop this on a double boiler until it's completely melted. While we have this on the double boiler, you're gonna come in and periodically you're gonna stir it. It's not something that you have to stir nonstop, but you do have to stir it just to make sure that everything heats evenly. What we do for the wick, take a hot glue gun. You're gonna put just a little bit of hot glue on your wick tab and then just place it in the very center of the jar, push it down there to secure it. So normally I say you have to melt everything completely because we're putting so much shea butter in here, it's not super important that it melts all the way well on the double boiler. It's gonna finish melting just sitting in these hot oils, so you're fine to allow that just to finish melting in there. So what this does is it gives your mixture some time to cool down and it also helps prevent overheating of the shea butter. So you never wanna get shea butter too, too warm because then sometimes you can have some issues when it's cooling down with graininess. So if you melt it all, that's fine. If you leave a little bit of shea butter and you just kind of mix it around to finish melting it, also fine. There's no right or wrong way in this situation. And now we're gonna add our fragrance oil. And you are going to give this a very good mix. When I say a very good mix, like a couple of minutes. So you really want to give the fragrance oil time to combine with the oils and the waxes that we have in here. So another reason why I give it a really good mix is we want it to cool down a little bit more. So just take a couple minutes, give it a good mix. Don't worry, it's not going to like solidify on you or anything like that. And now we're going to go ahead and pour our candle. So you always wanna stay as low as you can to the jar and pour very slow. You don't wanna create a bunch of bubbles in there. You don't wanna pour really fast. You just kind of wanna let the wax go in there very slowly. And then I just use a Sharpie to center the wick. And we're gonna leave this on the counter to cool completely. And then once your candle's cool, you're gonna go ahead and trim the wick to about a quarter of an inch. Now, just a quick safety precaution. You never wanna leave this lit for a super long time because it can get too hot for your massage. So what you're gonna do is you are gonna go ahead and light the candle. You're gonna allow it to heat up until you have a big enough pool of wax to give a massage. You're gonna blow the candle out and then you're going to pour it on your hands to make sure it's not too hot and then go ahead and give a massage. 
And a question that I get asked a lot is when you use a massage oil candle, if it leaves like that waxy, gross consistency behind on your skin, and it absolutely does not. It feels just like you got a massage with massage oils. It is so amazing. You are not gonna believe how nice it is. And the thing that I love the most about massage oil candles is that the oil is not cold when it goes on the skin because that is the absolute worst. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy making and using your massage candle as much as I did. If you haven't done so already, be sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below.